right, everybody, my name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and we got an action-packed show for you today, kind of like a Spatchcock 101, if you will. But before we get going, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified on all of my uh, future uploads. Now, I know I've made these in the past, but I want to do a cover in a little bit more detail instead of using a uh, scissor which uh, some people don't have we're going to spatchcock this with a, a knife so I want to do a uh, get in a little bit more detail on that so basically what you want to do here is you want to make sure your bird is clean right make sure it's clean make sure it's defrosted turn it over to expose the backbone right there get your knife feel on the side of it and just kind of cut it it cuts uh, fairly easy, sometimes even uh, more uh, with a knife other than a, a scissor. Now flip it over there, it's the backbone right there, right? So you just want to feel with your knife, get a good grip, and just kind of saw it out. And that gets you the uh, backbone out. It's a very uh, simple to do. Then what you want to do there, the uh, breast bone, just give a, a little a slice. And bing, bang, boom, there's your uh, spatchcock chicken, right? And also, this is a, a good time to uh, uh, cut away any uh, loose skin, any unsightly skin. Just kind of straighten it out, cut it away, and get it ready for a prep. Now, look, I'm keeping this a uh, Texas style. I like... Uh, on my uh, spatchcock chicken, I like, uh, you can go with some herb spices, of course. I like doing just a uh, basic, coarse salt, pepper, and garlic. Sometimes I'll put a little uh, smoked paprika on there for color. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it simple. Now, as you uh, salt, pepper, and garlic, or use uh, your favorite rub, you want to make sure you get a, enough on, and you want to get all the little hidden crevices of the uh, bird, because you want it uh, seasoned quite uh, literally. Obviously, both sides. I never use a, a binder. A lot of times when you use a binder and you put a wet bird in the uh, pit, you get that rubbery skin, right? I like a, a crispy skin, so I got a, a dried chicken. And again, pick up all those little spots and make sure you get enough uh, seasoning on the uh, bird. Of course. All right, look, I thought this would be pretty cool to show. You'll see that a crappy a white gray smoke that you don't want food to go anywhere near. But after about four or five minutes, you're gonna see that nice light blue smoke. That is uh, just about perfect. And of course, I just uh, sped up the uh, video. Just thought that'd be cool to uh, see. So look, I got my pit running at a 275 degrees and we are gonna run this for about about an hour, hour and 10 minutes or so, and then we will open her up and we'll uh, get a chub check and make sure the uh, bird is setting up nice and so forth. Also, when you uh, put your bird on the uh, pit, make sure it's uh, sitting nice and flat. Make sure no uh, meat is tucked in where it's not supposed to be tucked into. And also, we got it a position to right above that uh, drip catcher pan. Oh, yeah. All right, so look, I got a little tied up. So we're about an hour and a half into the cook. We're still uh, very uh, safe. We're at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit on the bird. Got a nice color on that skin. And we know we got about another hour or so go. Like I said, you want to take this up to about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, 
we are looking pretty good there. So what I'm gonna do here is just get a, a temp check. We should be uh, very close to being done. So we're sitting at about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, what I'm gonna do is uh, jack up the uh, temp on the pit to 700 Fahrenheit, let her run for about 15 minutes and that'll uh, we'll look, that'll crisp up the skin nicely. There. Look, if you don't have one of these uh, quick, uh, quick read uh, thermometers, these pens, I got one down in the description uh, from Ink Bird. I uh, checked that out, and uh, you definitely should have one. You want to make sure, uh, especially something like chicken, you want to make sure is at that 165 plus target temp. And take note of that drippings underneath that bird because uh, that is uh, nothing but uh, flavor right there. Oh man. I mean, that's where it's at. I think I paid about eight bucks for uh, eight bucks per bird. So, what do we got? Uh, under $20 here. And I mean, look at this a meal. You know, there is a shortage of meat going on, but there ain't no shortage of uh, bird going on. So uh, I would definitely pick up a couple of these. I mean, this is good eating right there. Oh, man. I mean, look at that. Uh, juice is just running off these birds. I think I said, but I usually let these uh, sit for about 10, 15 minutes or so. I'll just let those uh, juices settle and do not cover it with foil. If you do, your skin will turn to rubber. Okay. And this is how I like to uh, separate the bird is I would uh, grab the uh, leg uh, pieces, the uh, leg uh, quarters, and just kind of, there's a bone right there that sometimes you just have to uh, whack to separate. So there's the uh, leg uh, quarter, and that is, uh, well, that's a good eating right there. And you can see the juices run. Let me try to uh, position the bird so you can see it, and just kind of pull it apart, and just kind of feel your knife, and it should come right apart. there what I like to do is just split the bird in half right so it's simple because you already took the uh, backbone out and now you got breast and wing I mean how many people could you feed with that don't get much better than that I'll tell you and I'm gonna be doing a uh, turkey soon because I'm uh, have not done one on the uh, master belt so I'm looking forward to that all right look leave a, a thumbs up don't forget to uh, hit that uh, subscribe button right leave a comment down below it's very very important to the channel and don't forget my uh, master built Facebook group that information is also uh, down below Everything on the show is usually down in the description, so uh, feel free to check that out. Now look, if you like this master built video, I'm going to drop to here. You go there. I'll see you there, and I'll uh, see you soon. <laughs>